Hello and thank you for watching. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect HomeSeer to an SQL database. This video is a condensed version of my two other videos that go into much more detail and explanation into this process. If you get stuck or need further explanation, I highly recommend watching the other two videos. With that said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is download Docker. In order to do that, open up your favorite web browser. and go to docker.com. Once at docker.com, click get started. Scroll down, and you're gonna click on download for Windows. You're gonna to have to create a, your own user account, but once you do, it'll then give you access and give, send you to this page where you can download Docker. I've already downloaded Docker, so I would just be running it from my local drive. So I'm running Docker for Windows. And then we'll be using the Linux containers. So do not check the box that says use Windows containers as that will not allow this process to work. Once Docker is installed, Go ahead and hit close. And let's launch Docker. So with this process, once Docker loads up, go ahead and log in. It'll ask you to log in, and this will be the user account that you created to download Docker Desktop. Once you're logged in, we're going to go and install the next version, uh, Kitmatic. So go to kitmatic.com and click on Download Toolbox, Docker Toolbox. Run Docker Toolbox and just use the default settings. Do a full installation and everything should be checked if this is your first time installing. If it's not, you may have some that are not checked, but most likely all things will be checked. Click Next. Again, use default settings. Click Next. And install. Once it's done, click Finish. We're going to go ahead and, and open up Kitematic. Go ahead and log in with your Docker user account once again. And here we're going to go ahead and search for Eclipse-Mosquito and look for the official Eclipse Mosquito container. Go ahead and click Create. This will download and install. This is your, also this is your MQTT broker. All right. Now once it's installed and running, go ahead and hit Settings and go to and update your host name to whatever you want it. Your Docker ports will be 1883. And your published IP port will also be 1883. Hit the plus and click save. All right, let's go to HS3, Home Seer 3. So we're going to install the plugins. So go to your plugins. We're going to hit manage. And you want to look for and search for MQTT. There's a couple of them, but the one that we're going to be using is MQTT. So go ahead and enable it, and then we're going to go to the config. The MQTT broker name should be the one, or should be the IP address of the computer that is running Docker. In this case, it is on the same machine, so I can do 127.0.0.1. Uh, the MQTT client name, you can name whatever. We're going to monitor MQTT broker. Uh, username and password, again, doesn't really matter. It doesn't actually really use it. So uh, quality of service, just keep it uh, as uh, exactly once. So now we're going to go ahead and modify and update our, our publish. So go back to plugins, MQTT, and then click on publish. Click on room, click on check all for room and type. This will show all of your devices. The devices that you want to send over to you know, the database, check the value and string. And then for the topic, make sure you set for, in this case, make sure it's home slash and then whatever you want 
uh, it to be, do, be defined. So that's going to define your devices. So now we're going to go download Microsoft SQL Express. So either Google um, SQL Express or um, just go to Microsoft's website. Um, you can find it there too. Um, but we're going to want uh, the SQL Express. So just click download, uh, run it. And basically, we're going to start the install process for, for this. We're going to click Custom. And the default location is fine. And we're going to click on New SQL Server Standalone Installation or Add Features to an Existing Installation. This will start the process. We're going to click I accept the license terms, hit next. We're going to use Microsoft Update, click next. Uh, the default here is fine. This we're going to use a default instance. And then the instance ID is fine, the MS SQL Server. This is fine, so click Next. Here we want to do mix mode, so then create a uh, system administrator uh, password, uh, make it fairly strong. Accept, and then hit Next for both the uh, Microsoft R and Python. So accept once again and hit next. All right, once it's done, we're gonna hit close and we're gonna go back to our install uh, Center. So we're going to click on Install Server uh, Management Studio. And we're going to download, and it's going to bring us to another link to download uh, the latest uh, SQL or the yeah, SQL Server Management Studio. So go ahead and download that and run it. install. All right, while that's happening, we're going to do this uh, in the background. Uh, we're going to update our Windows firewall. So go and search for firewall. And what we want is we want Windows Defender firewall. Click advanced settings. And then we're going to do an inbound rule. So we're going to click New Rule. It's going to be a port. Hit Next. And it's TCP, and it's 1433, not 1443, 1433. I mistyped that in making the video. Use all defaults, and we're going to do MS SQL. You can name it whatever you want. But that's what I used. So we're going to create another rule. And this one's going to be for our UDP. So we're going to go through the same process. We're going to use a port. And then we're going to do, but we're going to use UDP. And it's going to be 1434, not 1444, 1434. Again, I made the mistake uh, in making this video. Same thing, uh, MSSQL, but we're going to put, do a dash UDP. That just helps us see it in a big list of stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, go into our configuration manager. We're going to modify a few things here. Go ahead and click yes. The first thing we're going to do is um, turn on the, the browser service. So go ahead and click on SQL service. Uh, and we're going to right click on that, click properties. And we're going to go to service. And at the start mode, we're going to turn to automatic. And we're going to hit apply. 
and then we're gonna go back to log on and we're gonna click start and that's gonna start the uh, SQL server browser. All right, now we're gonna go update our protocol. So double click on the SQL server network. Uh, and then we're gonna enable named pipes and TCP IP. And after that, we gotta go and restart the SQL server. So just right click on the SQL server and do click restart. And once that's done, you can go ahead and close and finish waiting for Studio. All right, so when the Studio is complete, go ahead and click Close, and let's go and open the Microsoft Studio. Uh, server name is fine, just um, as default, and just hit Connect. All right, let's go ahead and uh, download Node-RED. So go to node-red.org, click on Documentations, and click on Getting Started. And then we're going to do a Windows install. All right, first thing we need to do is download and install node.js. So follow the link. Uh, there's a link right in there. Click on that, and then download and install node.js. Hit run, and we're going to use all the default settings again for the node.js. Uh, go ahead and click back uh, while that's loading there. Uh, click next. Again, uh, just all the defaults are fine. All right, and then it going, if you haven't hit back yet, go click back. Uh, and basically, we're going to follow all the instructions um, through the install of Node-RED. So go ahead and open up a PowerShell uh, and right-click and do Run as Administrator. And we're going to, uh, just to check to make sure um, Node.js installed properly, we're going to do the Node version and the NPM version. And basically, as long as you don't get any errors, you're good to go. So, And again, just follow what's on the website there. So once that's there, then we're going to go ahead and install Node-RED. And again, um, you just follow that website. Um, so you'll do the npm space install space dash g space uh, dash dash unsafe dash perm space node dash red. That's going to do the install. All right. Now let's go ahead and start node red. So just type node dash red. Go ahead and click Allow Access. <clears throat> and uh, go ahead and type the or the IP address of the machine. Uh, if you this is on the same machine, you can do the 127.0.0.1. And then it's the colon 1880. And you should look like this. All right. So everything's that worked worked right. All right, so let's go ahead and let's create a new database. So go back to your um, server management studio, right click on database and new database, and we're going to call it dev. All right, now we got to add a table and some columns. So we're going to hit a new table. First column is going to be topic. You remember that that's going to be the that's um, again the uh, topic coming from home seer do an n bar care 250 that topic can get fairly long so you want to make sure you have enough spaces and enough uh, space in each each um, entry next one's gonna be payload again do n bar care uh, 250 um, this is going to be the value so uh, topic's going to be you know bedroom light and payload's going to be 
on or off. But, uh, and the last one we're going to do is timestamp, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, then we're going to use, for this one, we're going to use a data type, um, date time. All right. So click Save Table, and we're going to just call this MQTT Data. And if you're following along, this is important. You keep it uh, with uh, exactly the same, because um, once we get to Node Red, um, it's going to make a difference. So uh, security, let's go ahead and add a service account. So we're going to go security and we're going to uh, do a new login. And let's go ahead and call it um, Node Red. You can call it whatever you want. It's your service account, uh, but just remember it. Same thing, uh, do a fairly uh, good password. Uh, uncheck uh, enforce password policy. Uh, and then we're going to go to user mappings and uh, map this user to this um, our new database here. So uh, check the dev, and we're just going to give it read write access. That's all it needs. And click OK. All right. So the final thing we're going to do here is we're going to click on tools. We're going to go to options, and then we're going to go down to the designers um, thing there, and we're going to uncheck uncheck prevent saving changes that require table recreation. And go ahead and click OK. All right, now let's go ahead and add a final ID column here. So uh, right click on the table, do select thousand, top thousand rows. Um, and in order to do this, uh, we're going to we're going to add to our, our uh, SQL statement here. So um, you're going to type in alter table and then in brackets, you're going to do MQTT data and the bracket. And we're going to do add, and then we're going to do uh, ID, and then we're going to do int, and then we're going to do identity, and then in um, curly, not curly, but brackets, whatever you want to call them, um, those things. We're going to do one comma one, and we got to spell identity correct here. Yep, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to execute it, and you should get a uh, query executed successfully. In order to test it, let's go and click the refresh button and then expand out the MQTT table uh, and go into the columns. And as you can see, we've got another uh, column now that's ID. Uh, and that, that's just a ID, so that way uh, it'll um, continue to create a unique um, thing. So, um, so the next thing we need to do is add an SQL thing or SQL for Node Red. So go ahead and close your PowerShell if it's still open. Uh, that'll turn kill um, node red and then open up a command prompt and type in npm install node red dash contrib dash msql or mssql. Uh, this is going to install a piece there. Next, thing we're going to go to is flows.nodered.org and we're going to search for uh, Microsoft SQL. And we're going to go ahead and click on the one from Electron Hacks. Should be the only one, unless more have been added. But we're going to highlight, select all, uh, and take this whole code and copy it. And then go ahead and uh, make sure you um, reopen up PowerShell or command line and restart Node-RED. Once you do, go to back to your uh, web browser and uh, get into um, Node-RED. Click the menu, click Import, click clipboard and paste uh, that uh, code that you just copied and you'll get a, a flow like this. So we're going to update our MQTT broker connection. So click on the pink one uh, and we're going to do edit and then you're going to uh, edit the or yeah, modify it. Let's name it Docker. Server name is going to be um, if it's running on the same computer as the Docker machine, um, you can leave it at localhost. Otherwise, put in the, the um, IP address of your um, computer that's running Docker or running your MQTT broker. Um, you can leave all the other defaults the same. Um, for the topic, this is going to be important. This is um, you where you want to type in home. Um, so this is going to take anything. Any It's going to pull and uh, subscribe to anything that um, starts with home. Uh, QoS to zero is fine, and go ahead and click done. Um, 
can click deploy just to test it. And as you can see, it says it's connected, so that's a good thing. Uh, you, it has a little red or error. You wanna you wanna take a look at it. So let's go to the uh, SQL version uh, or piece. We're gonna go and then um, edit that connection. Um, server name again. Localhost is fine if it's on the same computer. Otherwise, uh, you may have to put in um, you know type in the actual server name. Uh, username uh, is that service account that we created. Uh, database dev is fine unless you named it your database different. Uh, go ahead and again hit uh, update and then done and then we're going to deploy it again. Uh, it should say successfully deployed. Now there's a couple things you can do. Uh, insert will uh, put stuff into the database um, or you can do select. If everything's working right like this one is like this uh, video is showing you actually should be starting to get um, uh, home seer data into it. So um, you can go back to your database and do a select all. And as you can see, you know, that should just start flowing as soon as those connection pieces are, are connected. So um, hopefully uh, that's the way it is. If not, um, again, I'd suggest maybe going and watching the other videos. I know they're a little bit longer, but um, they definitely go in a lot more detail and um, I'm a lot less rushed uh, through. So I, especially when it comes to your topics and all of that stuff, um, there's another couple tools that I um, bring in that, you know, will help kind of troubleshoot some things. Um, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I definitely go and check those out if, if it's not working right now, but um, at this point, at least you have all of the software installed. Um, so, um, you know, it, 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 it's there. It's just getting it configured if, if uh, there was a missing piece or whatnot. So um, again, I hopefully um, this helps and I hope, uh, hope everything turns out and is gives what you, what gives you what you want. So uh, thanks again for watching. See ya.